All right, so to uh, introduce 7.2, the warm-up activity is as follows. What I want you to do is I want you to draw a four-sided figure, any four-sided figure like I've drawn right here. And I don't want it to be a rectangle or a square so that you have a little bit of, uh, this is, it's not, that's too easy. What I want you to do is measure all sides. So I measured one side with my ruler, fancy dancy ruler on the screen here. And this side was 4.6. And you do that to all the sides. Then what you want to do is you want to multiply each side by a scale factor of 0.8 because we're going to make a reduction. We're going to draw a reduction of this figure. And so probably the easiest way to do that, when you multiply 4.6 times 0.8, you get 3.7 rounded to the nearest tenth. And so what you want to do is, is uh, easy way to do this is to draw your reduction inside the original. And I'll show you what that looks like. I erased a little bit of that already. So it would look like this, OK? So there's my 3.7. And uh, you would do that to all of the sides to make them, uh, to make it a uh, exact same shape, but everything is reduced by 0.8. So again, a reduction has a scale factor that's less than 1 between 0 and 1. And uh, that's your first assignment. OK, we're going to go ahead and we're going to move to 7.2. So if you could get your notes out. And I just hand it out to you there. And it should look something like this right here. All right, 7.2 scale diagrams and reductions. So we talked about enlargements in 7.1. Now we're going to talk about reductions. OK. If a scale diagram is smaller than the original, then it is a reduction. Yes, a reduction. So the root word of reduction is reduce, right? R-E-D-U-C. That's the part of the root word reduce, which means to get smaller, right? Or to be less of. So a reduction has a scale factor that is between 0 and 1. As we just mentioned in our warm-up, and as we talked about yesterday in, in, uh, in 7.1, enlargements have a scale factor greater than 1. Reductions have a scale factor less than 1. And when we say less than 1, what we really mean is between 0 and 1. A negative value on a scale factor doesn't really apply. So between 0 and 1. Okay. So if we were to draw that out, I would... I'll just show it to you like this. So here is the scale factor for an enlargement is beyond 1. OK? And here's a scale factor for reduction between 0 and 1. OK? So that's what it looks like. Example one, <clears throat> I've given you an original circle and a scale diagram. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what is the scale factor for this one? And remember, what we do is we uh, always, to determine the scale factor, write the value of the length of, a, of one kind of sort of side or one dimension, a length dimension for the scale diagram. And then we divide it by the corresponding length dimension for the original. So for example, I've got four centimeters here is my diameter in my scale diagram. So the scale factor is going to be four. And the units are the same, so you don't have to use the units in your, in your uh, formula. But I will here just show you that they do divide out. So four divided by the corresponding measurement in the original is the diameter here, which is 10. So the scale factor. The centimeters cancel each other out. They, there's no units on scale factor. And then 4 divided by 10 is 2 fifths. Or as a decimal, that's 0 0.4. And you can check that on your calculator if you want. OK? Is that good? Understand? No. Always scale diagram divided by original when we're talking about corresponding parts, OK? All right, so let's. let's uh, Oh, I guess the obvious question here, is this an enlargement or a reduction? Well, you, you can see that going from the original to the scale diagram, we're getting smaller. So that looks like a reduction. And also, the scale factor is 
between 0 and 1. So here's where 0.4 falls on the number line here. So yes, this is a reduction. Okay, And because uh, reduction, because um, the scale diagram is smaller, and the scale factor is between, and that's a little uh, abbreviation for between, I don't know if you've seen that before, between 0 and 1. So those would be the two reasons you would state there. Questions? Pretty easy. Why is this so easy, Mr. Maxwell? Is that your question? I'm sorry. I'll try and make it hard here. Don't worry. I'm just kidding. All right. Tough crowd. All right. Example two. A patio has a table of 105 centimeters by 165 centimeters. A reduction is to be drawn with a scale factor of one-fifth. That's one over five. Now you can change that into a decimal if you want. That's 0 0.2. So one-fifth is the same as 0 0.2. Find the dimensions of the reduction. Okay, so 0 0.2, write the scale factor as a decimal because it's easier to do on your calculator. That's fine. You can use either, but a decimal is a good idea. And if you don't know how to do that, if you have a fraction, you want to find the decimal. It's really easy. I've done this before. But you just, you just divide the fraction on your calculator. So 1 divided by 5. That will give you 0 0.2. Okay, so that's just how you do that. It's pretty easy. So we have an original width of 105 centimeters. So the reduction width will be 105 times the scale factor of 0 0.2. So we'll go 105 times 0.2 is 21. See that? 21. The original length is 165, so we'll do 165 times the scale factor equals, let's get our calculator up and do that one, 165 times 0.2 is 33. So the dimensions of the reduction, remember we went from originally 105 centimeters by 165, now we are at 21 centimeters. And there's a, like a, that big X there is also an abbreviation for dimensions, if you have like a length and a width, 21 centimeters by 33 centimeters. So that's an abbreviation that you'll see quite a bit. You can write the word BY or you can just do that big X there, 21 by 33. So it's a patio table, appears to be, it uh, looks like it would be a rectangle, and uh, there you go, there's your new one. Okay, so a little model like this sort of thing. Question about that? Easy? Hopefully that's easy, it's meant to be fairly easy. Let's take a look at example three now though. Which diagram has sides that are proportional to the original? Okay, so we need to talk about proportional. Proportional means that two ratios are what? Any, any guesses? Two ratios are the same or are equal. Yes. Two ratios are equal. For example, if we have a ratio of, you know, side lengths of 3 over 4 or 3 to 4, that is proportional to side lengths of 6 to eight, okay? Now, let's take a look at this example here, okay? So, two diagrams are proportional if all sides are multiplied or divided by the same number, or they are, um, the, the ratios of their side lengths are proportional, okay? So, if they have the same scale factor. So, let's just take a look at this. Here's the original, here's the original over here. And I guess what we're asking is, you know, which diagram, okay, is proportional. So really what they're asking is which diagram is the exact same shape but could be a different size. And you might be able to look at A, B, and C and notice right away that one is the same shape but just a different size. Okay, but let's just, let's just check it out here. Let's work through this. And so let's, let's check rectangle A, okay. So rectangle A has an original width, uh, missing an H there in my notes, original width, okay, is what? What's the original width, sorry, for the original? Um, 
I guess width will be the smaller one. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, five. And the width of A is one. Okay, all right. What about the length now? Well, we have some words that are cut off here. So the original length of the original one is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's ten. And the A length is one, two, three, four, five. So this simplifies to five. This simplifies to two. So because these are not the same, that means that we do not have the same, uh, this is not a reduction. It's not proportional. So those are different. Okay. Now, so this one is 5 and 10. So we'll remember that the original is 5 and 10. And I have some problems with this, my notes here. Okay. All right. What about the what about the ratio of a, of b? Okay. So this is two. All right. So we've got five. The computer's really not happy. <laughs> All right. Let's try this again. Another way to look at this, guys, uh, and uh, again, we'll, f we'll, finish, we'll finish this for sure, but uh, I'll show you another way to look at this as well. So we've got 5 to 10, or 5 corresponds with 2. So that's what we'd write here, 5 corresponds with 2. And then this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 10 would correspond with 6 here, right? That's what it would match up. So 5 over 2 and 10 over 6 is 5 over 3. So are these the same? No, not the same. So it's not B. It's not A. It's not B. Let's check C now. Okay. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4 for C. So we've got 5 over 4. And the lengths are, let's say, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We've got 10 over 8. So this 10 over 8 simplifies to 5 over 4. And look at this. These are the same. All right. So corresponding sides all have the same ratio. So this is proportional. Proportional. Now, another way to look at this, so this is great. This works. Another way to look at this that might be even quicker and a little bit easier, this is the way I, another way that I do it. If you check out the ratio between the sides of the original alone, so for example, 5 to 10, you can write that however you want, 5 over 10, 5 colon 10. But this ratio is a 1 to 2 ratio. So something that's proportional also has to have that same ratio, even with side lengths within the same thing. So 5 to 10, this is 1 to 5, so that's not double. 2 to 6, that's not double. 4 to 8, you see, is double. So 5 to 10 and 4 to 8 have the same ratio there. So those ones are good. Okay, So that's another way to look at it. You can write the side lengths within the original as a ratio and then check for corresponding side lengths to have the same ratios. All right. OK, let's move on. Um, OK, so original dimensions 5 by 10. Um, yeah, OK, so th I guess this is just sort of what we worked out here, right? So it's a bit of summary. So they said, they said down here that uh, 1 over 5 does not equal 1 over 2, which we, um, yeah, we did 5 over 1 and 2 over 1, I guess. 1 by 5, 2 by 6. So it is, uh, the ratios are equal for C. Okay. So this one is, I guess if you're filling these out, this is proportional. And these ones are not proportional. All right. 
Okay. So any questions there about reductions or determining proportionality? Because that's the big fancy word for what we just did there, determining proportionality. Any questions so far? I'm going to give you your assignment then if there's no questions, and I'll work through a couple questions from your assignment with you, okay?